Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ida. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video with deep conditioning my hair with a leave-in conditioner instead of a deep conditioner. And I've tried it once before. I'm just kind of experimenting right now. I did like some of the benefits, but then I also wanted to kind of tweak a couple of things. So I want to show you guys the results because I think that if it does work going forward, I might just do this instead. So I just want to let you guys know that I did freshly wash my hair with a cleansing conditioner instead of a shampoo this time. And I do have a little bit of leave-in conditioner in just because I didn't want my hair to dry out too much. But I never use a rinse-out conditioner anymore. I stopped using them. I go straight from a cleanser to a deep conditioner. I'm going to section my hair and I usually just do four sections. Okay, so today's leave-in conditioner I'm going to be using is the TGIN Super Green Tea Leave-In Conditioner. So this is actually one of my favorite leave-in conditioners for when I use it in the winter because it is um, more thick. I usually use like really lightweight conditioners, but um, this is I would say medium and I'll show you guys the consistency of it. So this is what it's looking like. So it's still not like a really heavy leave-in conditioner or anything like that because I definitely cannot use a heavy leave-in conditioner for my low porosity hair, but this is the heaviest I can go because especially when I'm trying to pair it with other styling products, I can easily get product buildup and residue and flakes and all that kind of stuff. So I really like the extra moisture this gives me because in the winter time, my hair definitely needs that extra moisture. And so I'm just finger detangling just to kind of make sure everything gets distributed evenly. And if I do need to add a bit more water in, I'll just kind of quickly spray it in with warm water. So I'm going to put in a bit more than usual because why I'm kind of experimenting with the leave-in conditioner instead of a deep conditioner is because I'm always trying to think of ways to kind of simplify my routine but also to see what works best for my hair in terms of moisture. And then for the ends of my hair, I'm going to put in like a little bit of regular deep conditioner um, and I'm going to be using the Texture ID deep conditioner. And the reason why I'm doing this is because when I first tried out a leave-in conditioner as a deep conditioner. I noticed that after I got out of the hooded dryer, the ends just looked really unhealthy. Your ends are not as low porosity as the rest of your hair, so it is able to take up more product. Leave-in conditioner actually penetrates a lot easier than a thicker deep conditioner, right? And so you just want to make sure you're protecting your ends as well. And yeah, so I'm going to put this in a twist and then move on to the next section. So yeah, the reason why I decided to kind of try this out is because every time I deep condition my hair, which is every time I cleanse my hair, so it's approximately like once a week, I always just wish I could just style from there because I'm like, oh, it just feels like a waste to like put all this deep conditioner in, sit underneath the hooded dryer, and then wash it off and then put in a different type of leave-in conditioner and then style. But I was like, why not just kind of like, you know, try to see if I can skip the actual deep conditioner as well and then just use the leave-in conditioner as the deep conditioner because it is thinner in consistency. It's going to actually absorb into my hair a lot better anyways and I won't have to sit underneath the hooded dryer for as long because it will just absorb a lot better and also I won't have to wash it off after I can just go straight into styling because what I also tried doing before is after I deep condition my hair with a regular deep conditioner, I try to leave it in and then um, go ahead and style my hair. And I always end up getting flakes, always. The deep conditioner always just leaves so much product residue in my hair and just so much product buildup. And it doesn't matter how long I kept it in for, it doesn't matter how much it absorbed into my hair. And it just never went well with any other product. So that's why I always had to rinse it off and put in my leave-in conditioner. Um, once I realized like leaving in my deep conditioner was not an option and then I was like why not just use the leave-in conditioner as a deep conditioner and just put more than usual and then not only are you skipping another product so you're saving money you're also saving time too this time around I'm only gonna sit underneath the deep conditioner for maybe about 20 minutes max 20-25 minutes maybe and then I'll just like do the baggy method after that just to kind of make sure everything is in there Oh yeah, and by the way, this is the other one that I used last time to do the experiment with the leave-in conditioner. And this is the Oyen Handmade Hair Dude. This is the other thicker leave-in conditioner that I would use um, for the winter time as well. So it's really, really nice. Um, it's not as thick, I would say, as that one. It's like a little bit more thinner in consistency. So that's kind of why I wanted to try on the TGIN to see if it would kind of work better. These two are probably my top fave like leave-in conditioners for the winter. So anyways, I'm gonna finish the other section off camera. 
Okay, so I'm all done with the sections. I did put three here because there's more hair on this side. And yeah, so I'm gonna pin them up really quickly with just a clip. And then I'm gonna put a plastic cap on my head. Okay, so I'm gonna sit underneath the hood of dryer for about like 25 minutes maybe because like I mentioned before, you don't have to sit underneath the hood of dryer that long when you have a leave-in conditioner because it's not as thick and your hair will absorb it a lot faster and you don't want to dry out your hair basically. And if you don't have a hooded dryer, you can definitely just keep a baggie on your head. You can even cover this up with like a head wrap or a beanie or anything you have, like a towel or whatever to kind of create more heat. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and 30 to 35 minutes and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So as you can see, a lot of it has been absorbed into the hair. My hair definitely feels extremely soft just like it would like any other, I guess, like regular deep conditioner. Maybe even a bit more soft actually because it actually does penetrate a lot better. So I'm really like gonna test this out over a period of like a month or two just because I wanna kinda see over time like how my hair feels too because sometimes you can't tell right away. But I kinda just still want to show you guys like this the idea of of kind of using a leave-in conditioner instead and when it comes to low porosity hair like I do feel like this does make sense because the ingredients in a leave-in conditioner um, they're more penetrating because conditioners that are meant to be rinsed off like deep conditioners or rinse out conditioners they're moisturizing but they actually have a lot of conditioning ingredients that kind of like have like a, la a layer of coating on your hair to kind of give it that slip and appear smooth and soft. And also deep conditioners are so pricey. So if I'm able to kind of cut that out of my budget for my hair care routine, I would love that so much. So now I'm gonna go ahead and actually style my hair. So I'm gonna do a twist out because the leave-in conditioner is still in my hair. I don't have to rinse it off. So it really does help me now um, cut back the time on my styling. So now I'm just gonna go straight in with the butter. I'm gonna definitely keep you guys in the loop and let you know how everything is going. And you definitely wanna play around with it if you do try it. It all depends on like what leave-in conditioner you're using. Like if you're using a really lightweight one, then I would make sure to just apply a lot more than usual. And you can definitely also cut back on the deep conditioning time as well. Like if you're using heat. Um, other than that, like you just have to kind of play around with it to see kind of what works best for your hair. So I'm gonna do the rest off camera. And uh, if you guys want a more detailed video of how I do a twist out, that video is coming out soon. And I do have like, actually I have an older one as well that you guys can watch. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.